Hey, I'm Miles Beckler and welcome to my session. Now in this session, you are going to learn how to achieve financial independence so you can make work optional for the rest of your life using automated income. And before we jump into this, I do want to say a big thank you to the team at Niche Website Builders. Um, putting on an event like this is very difficult, whether it's in person or whether it's here virtual, uh, giving us the opportunity to connect live as well. It's a big undertaking. So bravo to the team, to Tiffany, to Adam, and the entire team over at Niche Website Builders. I'm very happy to share my process that allowed me to gain complete freedom over my life in my 30s. And when I say complete freedom over my life, I mean that work is 100% optional for my wife and I for the rest of our lives. We could go forth and continue to enjoy a wonderful lifestyle. We're living the life of our dreams and we don't actually have to work anymore. Now, making work optional means that we can follow those things in our heart. We can follow those callings, those curiosities that we do love, which is why I'm here with you here today because I really do enjoy helping the next generation of digital marketers, of internet marketers and entrepreneurs understand how to create true lifestyle freedom. And that's what we're gonna go through here. This is something I've learned over the years. And let's start with the goal, okay? So what is the goal of your business? What is the goal of this time and energy that you're allocating, you're taking away from family, from friends, from things you could be doing right in your normal life. And you're allocating that time towards building businesses online. Why? For me, the goal has always been freedom, complete control over my time, my location, and my ability to be where I want when I want. For example, right now I'm on a bit of a road trip. This is about a one month trip. I'm touring around the country. I'll do probably something like 6,000 miles driving or so, and I'm having an absolute blast. I'm kind of working, right? I'm recording this for you. I'll send a few emails and whether I work or not, my business will continue to bring in thousands upon thousands of dollars per day. That is the type of freedom. Now, I first learned this from a guy in Mexico. I was a full-time digital nomad for about five years on my journey here. And at one point I rented a beach mansion in Mexico for just about $900 a month. I was playing the geo arbitrage game where I could live on a lot less and have a wonderful lifestyle. The gentleman who built this mansion, he was from the United States and he was in his mid eighties at the time. And I got to know him. He lived in the bottom floor and we rented the two top floors of this place. And I learned that he actually retired at the age of 35. And here he was, an 85 year old guy. And I ran the math on that. I, I asked him a million and one questions about that because it blew my mind. He had been retired for 50 years at that point in his life. I estimated that he worked maybe 15, to 17 years of his entire life. Now, when I reflect that and compare that to my family and to the friends and the people I grew up around, most of the people I grew up around worked 40 hours per week at least for at least 40 years. And they didn't have enough money at the end of that to build remarkable, luxurious mansions in Mexico. And he also had houses in Bend, Oregon, in San Francisco, and he was thinking about building another one in Puerto Vallarta. So I was infatuated and I had to understand and I had to learn how did he make this happen? And he revealed with me a little tiny bit of math. And he said, Miles, when your automated income that comes in every single month from your investments and or from your businesses, which is an investment, when that automated income is greater than your lifestyle expenses, you've achieved freedom. So what this means is that if you're living a lifestyle right now, let's say your lifestyle costs $5,000 per month. Well, if you're able to build $6,000 per month in automated income, you're free. At that point in time, you have crossed the chasm and work has become optional for you. And in this mathematical equation, there's two kind of variables. There's how much are you spending in your life? 
And if you decide that you need Lamborghinis and multiple mansions that will cost you ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollars per month in lifestyle expenses, well, you're turning the treadmill up very high. And you're going to have to generate a lot of automated income in order to clear that hurdle and achieve freedom. But if you live a life you love and you enjoy doing things that doesn't necessarily run up that monthly cost, personally, I love camping, road tripping, spending time with friends and family, barbecuing outside with friends and family, hiking, mountain biking, paddle boarding. All of these things are relatively inexpensive to do. They keep me fit, they keep me in shape, they keep me outdoors, and they keep me happy. And that's how I'm able to keep my lifestyle expenses low while living my variation of a dream life. Now, I want you to think about the movie Matrix, if you've ever seen that movie. Do you remember the scene where it shows Neo waking up inside of the little pink cocoon, and he's pulling the tubes out, and he's looking around, and he's realizing that the machines are harvesting his energy and human energy like a battery. Now that was a very honest metaphor because that's what's really going on. If you're working a day job or a desk job right now, essentially corporations are harnessing your energy for profit and they're making all of the profits. And what you're learning here today in this talk and in this entire uh, empire building event that you're attending right now is you're learning how to flip that around on its head so you can be the one who really benefits from your energy that you put in. So you can create the time freedom you deserve. So you can coach your kids' softball team, their baseball team, if you so choose, their soccer team, right? So you can be more a part of your child's upbringing if you have kids. So you can just enjoy surfing and snowboarding and traveling if that's what you're more into, hiking and climbing, um, really spending time out on those trails and out on the mountains when everyone else is stuck in a cubicle. It's a pretty remarkable ability to have that type of freedom to go catch a powder day on a Wednesday when most of the community is locked up at work. And this is what I want for you. And for others, you might feel a bit of a higher calling. Right, the, the opportunity to volunteer, to build a congregation, or maybe you need more time so you can care for your loved ones. What, what the goal is, is to find why it's important for you to create the automated income. Because it does take time and energy, right? The path is proven, it's relatively simple, but the ability to show up over and over again, that's really difficult. And you need to have a big why when you're moving forward. For me, I'm psychologically unemployable. The uh, requirements to sit in a cubicle while the boss man uh, tells me what to do, even when it's a terrible idea, and I suggest a smarter way to go about it and say, hey, if we did this job like this, it probably would be faster and easier. And they tell me, no, Miles, just go punch your clock and just go sit in your chair and oof, it didn't work for me. So the pain of having to go to a desk job every day for 40 hours a week was the pain that got me to spend my nights and weekends for about seven years to learn this entire game and then to build it out the correct way. And here's the good news for you. It's not gonna take that much time. When I first started making money online, YouTube was not invented to date myself a little bit. I made my first money online on MySpace as an affiliate marketer in 2003. So I did not have access to virtual events like this one. And since kind of achieving this lifestyle freedom moment in my life, I went ahead and started publishing everything that I know, the tactical how to build a business online content. I began publishing it for free on YouTube. And if you search my name, Miles Beckler on YouTube, I have over 700 videos that teach you each and every piece of the greater puzzle of building a real business online. And we're going to get into the bits and pieces here in this talk today. So you're going to learn the process. You're going to learn the systems that are required so you can shortcut your path. No one taught me this. I learned this by running into wall after wall after wall looking for a door. And after years of trial and error, I finally figured out something that worked. 
And then I had to stick with that for a few years to get my automated income up to where I wanted it to be. So let's jump into the simple math again behind automated income. And we're going to look at the three ways that you can build automated income in this world. Okay. So when your automated cash flow, the money coming in is greater than your lifestyle expenses, the money going out, you have achieved freedom. Now, there's a movement and there's a, a community online called the FIRE movement, F-I-R-E. And that stands for Financial Independence Retire Early. Now, these are generally high paid employees like software engineers, and they gather in groups on Reddit, uh, the subreddit called Financial Independence, and they read blogs and they gather on websites like Mr. Money Mustache, who's a large content creator in that space. And what they use are index funds. This is like Vanguard. These are basic index funds, which are getting you access to the stock market because there's a mathematical um, approach to achieving freedom through the stock market. And that approach is called the 4% rule. Now, again, we're looking at the three ways that people create this type of freedom in their life. And we're going to get to the one that I think is the fastest, but you need to know there's plenty of ways to achieve this. And there's people achieving financial freedom so they can truly escape the rat race for the rest of their life in a variety of ways. Now, the 4% rule says that if you have whatever you have as your nest egg inside of index funds, you can withdraw 4% of that per year to live off of, and you won't ever really eat away your principal. And this is a big back-tested study, and some people like 3% to be more secure. But what this actually means is you need 25 times your annual income locked up in the stock market in order to get the kind of cash flow you would need to live. So let's say you need $60,000 per year to live off of. This is five grand a month. And we're going to run through this scenario with these same numbers in a few different ways. Okay. So if you need five grand a month, that means you need $60,000 in automated income coming up. And that means that you would need $1.5 million saved up in a 401k in order to get that $60,000 out. Now, I want to ask you, what are the odds of you saving up $1.5 million in the next few years? For me, it's very slim, right? I don't actually save that aggressively. Personally, I'm reinvesting in my business, which is what we'll talk about here in a moment. So the first approach, the FIRE approach, it works. It's mathematically sound. For software engineers who make $400,000 per year, they live on the smallest amount they can. They use extreme frugality in order to save as much as they can. And once they have 25 times what they need annual earnings, they have achieved freedom. The big problem here is the fact that you need to save up one and a half million dollars to generate five grand per month. And that could take most people a lifetime if they're ever able to actually reach that goal. This is why I don't personally buy into and love the FIRE movement, although they have some great ideas inside of there. Now, the second approach is real estate. Okay. Now, I actually started flipping houses while in college. I've flipped several houses, I've run Airbnbs, I've had rental properties, I've played the real estate game fairly aggressively, and honestly, I'm still playing the real estate game to this very day. In fact, on this road trip I'm on, I'm looking at cash flow properties because this is one of the ways I choose to reinvest what I earn in my web-based business. So there are ways for you to build up rental property portfolios that are completely done and managed by other people. There's a website called midsouthhomebuyers.com and they will actually buy, flip, and sell to investors like you and I. They'll sell the property and then they'll run the property management. And you can go look through their listings and you can see how much cash flow it brings in every single month. So you can start to measure how many properties do you need to generate that $5,000 per month. And I went ahead and did the math for us on this so we can really analyze the different approaches to creating true financial independence because real estate is a long-term proven path to generating financial independence. 
And it turns out that you need about 21 managed rentals from their system in order to generate $5,000 per month. Now, in real estate, you're required to put 20% down, which means you would need to come up with $640,000 in down payments in order to obtain those 21 properties that would then generate the $5,000 per month cash flow that you need. Now, you'd be on the hook or your S Corp or your LLC would be on the hook for $17,449 per month in mortgage payments. You're also on the hook for vacancies, repairs, all of the challenges that come with tenants and termites and toilets. Now they sell fully rehabilitated houses. They put a new roof on every house. They put a new kitchen in every house. They put a new bathroom in every house. So in theory, these capital expenditures as an investor would be very minimal, but we're still literally talking about $640,000 out of pocket. It's a better deal than the financial independence people who need to come up with $1.5 million out of pocket. But I want you to really think about how long it would take you to save up $640,000. Now, there's a new way. There's a better way. And this way hasn't always been around. And it's creating automated income through digital assets, which is what we do here. Now, my wife and I started with one niche site in the spirituality and meditation space. When we built that site, we were broke. We were living at my parents at the age of 30 after I had gotten married because I essentially sunk all of my money into a greedy guru scheme that didn't really pan out. I was paying the money to just buy into their system and promote their system and eventually I would make money. It's very similar to multi-level marketing, but it's done in the internet marketing space. It all came crashing down and I ran out of money. And my wife and I recommitted. Again, I told you in the beginning, I've had to go about this process with years of trial and error. And this was one of the most challenging errors that I personally went through. I hit rock bottom at this phase in my life and I found a bit more motivation to try again. Now, during this really challenging period of my life, when I had to move back in with my parents at 30 after telling my wife how successful of an entrepreneur I was going to be, I was very depressed. I was quite down in the dumps. I was drinking a lot. I was smoking marijuana at that point in my life. I don't drink anymore. I don't smoke marijuana um, at this point. I just live a, a happy, joyful life, but I was mood altering. Okay. I didn't, I, I hated the life I had created and I was, I was consuming chemicals to change my state of mind just to be okay with this life that I hated. And what I decided to do is I started meditating just about every day in the middle of the day. I would take time. Sometimes I would go hike up on a hill and sit in nature. Other times I would just put on headphones and lay down on the bed and close the door for a half hour. And that, that time I spent meditating felt great to me. And my wife was there too. And in this chaotic period of our life, we found something that comforted us, that helped naturally to give us more energy to make us feel better. And we thought maybe other people would like to learn about these meditation tools in order to improve their lives. It helped us, maybe it would help others. And for a $100 investment, it was actually $95 and 40 cents. I remember the exact cost of domain name and hosting for one year. But with that investment of domain name and hosting, my wife and I started a website that has now brought in multiple millions of dollars and it's generating passive cash flow. It's generating automated income to the tune of thousands of dollars per day. Now, over 10 years later, whether I'm traveling, whether I'm recording a video like this for you today, whether I'm actually engaged in the business working on it, or whether I'm taking two, three, four weeks to travel and go have fun. Now, I love meditation. I still meditate every day and I have for over 10 years now. So I'm passionate about sharing what I'm learning. We still create new meditations and we create new products that our audience of meditation lovers enjoy and we market them because it's helping others. And it's fun when we get to do things that help others and we have the ability to arrange the value we deliver to others in a way that it actually generates massive rewards for us because we have scale. 
We can reach million, we can and do reach millions of people a month from our YouTube channels, our blogs, our social media accounts, and our email lists. And that, in my personal opinion, is the best and fastest way to creating the automated income that you need in order to achieve that financial independence moment. It didn't cost hundreds of thousands of dollars for us to build the automated income. Now, it did cost us time. We were so broke when we first started that we had to put in the time and the energy to write every single post by hand. We've written over a thousand blog posts at this point in time. We've published over a thousand videos at this point in time. And our channels combined have something to the tune of 500,000 uh, subscribers on YouTube. And our blogs have reached something to the tune of 30 million individuals since we started on this path. And what this means is that you have two approaches to build automated income online. Number one is you invest money if you don't have much time, okay? There are ways to outsource this, right? And we'll talk about that here in a minute. But what you've also just learned is that if you don't have a lot of money to invest, but you have that ambitious, that ambition, that drive, and that willingness to show up on a regular basis, you also can go forth and build this by doing all of the work yourself. Now, I've got a friend, uh, Kevin Hutto, he calls these digital oil wells. And we build these little businesses and they work like oil wells. And it takes a lot of energy or money to build these types of oil wells out. We're searching around for product market match. We're figuring out what these audiences want. We're crafting content for them. It doesn't always work. You sometimes got to rework it, rewrite it. You might have to write 100 or 200 posts before you really see those types of returns. But once you rank, once your audience is there, once you grow an email list, the amount of energy required to maintain these kinds of businesses goes down to next to nothing, just like an oil well takes a lot of energy to go search around in to find where is oil in the ground. And then you've got to bring out trucks and drills and you got to drill test holes to find, is there really oil here? Is it, can I get the oil out of the ground in this oil well? And then once you build it all out and you've proven, yes, there's a group of people who need and want something and they have taken clicks on my tests. They're clicking on my blog posts. They're watching my videos. They're opting in for my email list. Aha, I have data that says this is a viable niche. Then you build the refinery. Then you build out the automations. And once it's all up and running, the cash flow continues to come out month after month after month, whether you keep working at all. And today I have a customer service person on my team. I've got a advertiser on my team who buys media for me. I've got a developer on my team and they are monitoring my business Why I go off and play. So we can use automations. We can get automated traffic from Google organic by writing hundreds of wonderful blog posts, but we can also hire other people to do the work for us and to monitor it for us. And this is being a business owner which in my personal opinion is the fastest path to generating the kind of automated income that you need in order to break free from the rat race. And I can tell you from uh, as someone who broke free from the rat race in my thirties and has been living a life that's taken me uh, 20, 30 different countries. I've lived on the beaches of the world. It's worth it. It's not easy. It's simple. It's not easy, but it's worth it. And today, the no code revolution that we've lived through with WordPress being a content management system with the landing pages, the landing page builders we have access to, the email automation, the email marketing automation tools that we have that are point and click simple, the Canva of the world for making your graphics. It's never been easier, right? The keyword research tools, it's never been easier to build these kinds of businesses. So let's talk about what it takes to win at business in the digital age. Now, I always go back to a quote from Zig Ziglar. Now, Zig Ziglar is an old school sales and motivation coach who started selling pots and pans door to door in the 1940s and the 1950s. 
He has a wonderful audio program on Audible called See You at the Top, the 25th anniversary. Highly recommend you listen to that if you want to stay fired up on your path to building your business online. The quote that Zig Ziglar is known for that I repeat all the time because it's the truest quote for us business owners we must remember, you should probably write this down, and it's that you can have everything that you want in this life as long as you help enough other people get what they want, okay? I'm gonna say that again. You can have anything and everything that you want in this life as long as you help enough other people get what they want, which means the goal is to help other people get what they want. If you want a life that costs $5,000 per month, which is the example we use, that just means there's some number of people in some niche out there who are searching for answers, for solutions, for help, for tutorials, for courses, for trainings. They're searching. And if you help them get what they want, the value exchange is income flowing your way. And if you're one of those people who are like, Miles, I want a Lamborghini. Miles, I want to fly in private jets. I want to live a $40,000 per month lifestyle. If you want to live a $100,000 per month lifestyle, which there's many gurus out there who will sell you $2,000 courses because their lifestyles cost six figures per month. It's possible, but I'm here to just remind you, you don't have to turn up the treadmill that high to live a life that you love. And always remembering that keeping your expenses in check as you build your automated income is one of the fastest ways for you to achieve true freedom, time freedom, the freedom to be where you want, with who you want, doing what you want at any time of the year, at any day of the week. That's the key. So if Zig Ziglar's true quote is true, which it is, and you can have anything that you want, You just need to go help enough other people get what they want. And I call this being of service at scale. So where are these people? Okay, you're going to go help those people get what they want. Where are they? Well, everyone's on these. Okay, everyone is always glued to their devices. And what are we doing on our devices? Devices. Well, we're watching slash viewing. Okay, looking at pictures, watching videos. We're reading, right? Reading blog posts and articles online, or we are communicating back and forth with other people, okay? So it's essentially videos, it's audio, and it's text. Listening to podcasts is the other thing on there. We're all using a handful of apps. We all go to a handful of websites, okay? It's it's really mildly scary at how centralized everything is in the web. But what this means is that it's easy for you to get your messages in front of people because 2 billion people per month use YouTube. And this is how I was able to grow my YouTube channel over 100,000 subscribers in a very short period of time. I was able to get my YouTube channel generating over $10,000 per month in automated income within nine months because there were billions of people on YouTube searching for help. So what did I do? I created the useful content they were looking for. So when they go to YouTube and they they search how to do SEO, how to write an SEO optimized post fast, affiliate marketing post template, how to do keyword research, how to grow an email list. When they searched all those phrases, my videos showed up because I used a keyword research tool that helped me identify the exact questions and problems and challenges that people were searching for. This is the magic of our business model. Now, if I was to rank all of the different traffic sources, undoubtedly, number one is Google. And we get our content indexed on Google. We get our content returned as a result on Google when we use WordPress blogs. Now that's the number one opportunity. There's 8.5 billion searches every single day on Google. There's something to the tune of 4 billion people online and they all know that they Google something when they don't know. Which means for you creating your business, having a WordPress blog that you own, a self-hosted WordPress blog. So that means you get the hosting, you get your own domain name, and that is your virtual real estate. That's your home online. It's a requirement in today's business. 
And that's how my wife and I grew our first brand based around meditation and spirituality. We started a website for $95.40 for hosting and a domain name, and we installed WordPress, which is open source free software. And we simply began finding the keywords that people were searching for. And we wrote the posts and the content that answered their questions that helped them get what they were searching for. And we've repeated that process. And we've written, as I said, over a thousand posts on our main website. And that website has connected us with tens of millions of people. Okay. So we've helped tens of millions of people get the answers and solutions that they're searching for by creating content. That's the magic. So the number two location, I think, for publishing is YouTube. YouTube is the number two largest search engine in the world. Five billion videos every single day are being searched out on YouTube. And people on YouTube, they search for all of their interesting, curious niches. Some people on YouTube are looking for how to maintain their hot tub. And they don't want to hire a pool cleaner for $200 per month. They want to do it themselves. And they're looking for a helpful advisor on YouTube who will show them how to balance the pH and how to balance the chlorine and the bromine. And I don't know that I'm out of my realm, but it's a huge world. And there's a million and one worlds like that for horseback riders, how to ride dressage for yogis, how to do yoga in a certain way for breath work. There's a million and one niches where people are searching for help. Now, the third place that we can go be of service at scale and help people is on social media. Now, the average person spends 147 minutes a day on social media, which is an astonishing number. But the problem with social media is that when you post on social media, that post is gone in a matter of hours or days. Depends on the platform. But the algorithms that run search are drastically different than the algorithms that run social. And if you're taking a social media approach, you're never going to be able to build a truly automated traffic source. What I mean by this is you have to keep going back to that social media platform and you have to keep publishing more content every day, more content every day, more content. Now this might be fun and you might enjoy it, but when you publish on a blog or a YouTube channel and you publish enough content to become an authority in your niche on one of those two platforms, your videos can continue and your blog posts can continue to attract traffic for decades, not just weeks, not days, not months, not years, for decades. My wife and I have posts that we published back in 2011, 2010, 2012, that still attract visitors to this very day. And thanks to the pop-ups we have that offer our lead magnets that grow our email list, this effort we put in 10 years ago is still bringing new interested people into our world. It's getting those people onto our email lists. And with basic sales funnels, it's turning those people into customers completely on autopilot. And this is how, this is the mechanism that my wife and I use to live the life of our dreams today. And we can travel while our websites and our brands still bring in thousands of dollars per day. So what are these people looking for? Okay. What are they doing online? They're looking for useful content and more specifically, they're looking for helpful guides. They're looking for people who are going to help them get what they want. So my YouTube channel, since you're clearly interested in building a business online, it makes sense. It's a relevant example because you understand what it feels like to feel like there's a knowledge gap. Like, ah, if I just knew how to build a business online, if I just knew how to do affiliate marketing the right way, if I just knew how to do keyword research or SEO, then I would have what I needed to build my business. You've maybe thought thoughts like this in the past. So what I've done with my YouTube channel, giving everything I know away 100% for free, literally very detailed guides on my channel. You follow along on the videos and click and I'll show you exactly how to do it step by step. When people find my videos, they like to subscribe. They want more. They learn to trust me. So when they've found my SEO videos, they realize they need to learn keyword research. They don't just search YouTube for keyword research. 
they search YouTube for Miles Beckler, comma, keyword research because they trust me and I become their helpful guide on this path. And that is when you really gain leverage because people are spending most of their time online searching for solutions to their problems and they're searching for how to do things. And ultimately this results in reading blogs and watching YouTube videos that give them the answers that they want. The other thing that we do is we're all connecting with our geeky little interest circles, right? And that's where social media comes in. But most often people are searching for which thing do I buy? What's best, this one or that one? Or how do I get to where I want to go? And I want to help you understand the potential of these kinds of businesses, okay? Online, almost $900 billion are spent in e-commerce every single year. There are estimates that this year, 2022, or next year, 2023, that a trillion dollars will be spent online. And this is your big opportunity. You see, you can help people buy the things that they want. You don't have to create the products, but you can. But you don't have to, okay? You simply create the content that ranks on Google or YouTube that helps the user get what they want. And if that is through a product or a service that they need to purchase or a course or a training that they need to go through, you earn an affiliate commission when they click and purchase. And this gives you the ability to then potentially replace those affiliate products with your own products, which gets you even better margins. So this means you can begin publishing content that helps other people get what they want. When they get what they want, a commission is generated for you. And eventually you might decide to go create a better solution, a better course, a better tool, a better template that they can purchase. And then when they purchase, you don't just make 30 or 50% commissions, you make 95 or 98% uh, margins because you're selling your own products. This is the core of the business model. Okay. You become the publisher. So my wife and I, we consider ourselves publishers. We run a publishing business, hence us publishing thousand plus blog posts on her site, a thousand plus videos on our YouTube channels. And I've got a diverse array of additional websites that we have teams like niche website builders. We have teams publishing content to go help those audiences because we're taking the money we're earning from website A, the spirituality website, and website B, the Miles Beckler brand. These bring in way more money than we need to live our lifestyle. And we reinvest that into teams and people building more websites that help more people get what they're searching for in more niches, which generates more automated income. And this is how, when I make the decision that I want to go get a Winnebago Revel camper van, which is a brand new Mercedes Sprinter four-wheel drive beast motorhome that cost $185,000, I just went and got it because I wanted it because I have enough cash flow to cover it. That's why when I decided I wanted a 20 acre estate on a lake, 3,500 square foot mansion on a lake, I just went and got it because I have all these systems generating more than enough automated income. And now as I'm looking for a snowbird property that'll allow me to stay warm in the winter because I want it, I can just look at whatever property I want and whatever price range I want because I've built automated systems websites, blogs, and YouTube channels that help millions of people get what they want through publishing useful content. That's what we do as a publisher. And that's how people win in the modern publishing business. They find your first post, they read through, they know you, they like you, they trust you, and then they're ready to get more of your insights. They're ready to take your recommendations. So when you recommend that affiliate product, they know you, they like you, they trust you, they are willing to click and buy, and that's how you make money. So how do you do it? Let's summarize it and simplify it down to three simple steps to building automated income online. Number one, you need to grow an audience, okay? Think of this as an A. We're gonna go through the ATM process here, okay? So you remember it easy, ATM. Number one, you have to grow your audience. Hundreds of blog posts 
or videos is the number one way to grow your audience. My YouTube channel, I did a 120 day challenge. I published one video per day, every day for 120 days. At the end of that, I only had 450 subscribers. Now, most people would look at those results and be like, oh, so much work, this doesn't work. But I knew that I just had to keep publishing. And by the end of year one, I was making over $10,000 per month for my YouTube channel. And I had almost 60,000 subscribers at the end of year one. And I had published about 250 videos. Now my wife's brand, we didn't know that we would just have to publish 200 videos to get to 10K per month because we were in the dark. We were moving forward with trial and error. Today, I now know the path is hundreds of keyword focus, useful posts, okay? So the first step is to grow the audience. I think organic content is the best approach. You can use paid ads as well. The second step is to grow an email list. And this is where you really start to build trust because people do business with those they know, like, and trust. If you have a blog, you use pop-ups and you give a free report, a free cheat sheet, that gets them on your email list and you have an autoresponder that gives them the steps to take to help them get what they want in an automated fashion. So on my website, I have an affiliate marketing crash course. Uh, if, you go to, if you just search Google Miles Beckler affiliate marketing crash course, this is one of my main offers. It'll also show up on many of the blog posts on my website as a pop-up. So when someone comes into my website because they're searching for how to do keyword research for affiliate marketing, they see my pop-up for my free, uh, my free affiliate marketing crash course and bingo. They're like, this sounds great. I want the course. Now they're on my email list. And my autoresponder sends them a series of helpful emails that go out over the course of a couple of weeks. It teaches them every single step. And yes, there's affiliate links in some of these. My keyword research tool, the hosting that I use and recommend that's independent, it's not one of those greedy, terrible corporations that most people recommend with hosting. All of these tools and services that are required for you to build a business, I recommend them. And if you click my links, I earn a commission. And when would you click my links? It's when you trust that I know what I'm talking about and that I truly can help you. And that's the last step, which is monetize, okay? Audience, trust, monetization, okay? Grow your audience with content. Email marketing is how you build trust. And then monetization is finding the tools and finding the products that they want and need that will solve their problems. For example, if you want to build sales funnels and you need a landing page builder and I've got a dozen videos that show you the DIY sales funnel process and how to build your sales funnel on your WordPress website and I show you exactly how to make an opt-in page that converts and I show you how to lay out your one-time offer page so it converts. When you find my videos and you see that there's six or seven of these videos in order, and you see that I take an hour each video to show you how to build out every piece of the puzzle, well, your search on YouTube attracted you to me. So that grew my audience. You watching my videos says, oh my gosh, this is real. You start to trust me more. You can look in the description where I have links to the opt-ins. And then when you choose to follow my recommendations to build this out yourself, that's the monetization component because you need to use certain tools on that path. And the same is true for everything. It's true for barrel racers uh, who wanna learn how to barrel race in horses. It's true for people who wanna manage and maintain their own hot tubs. There's things that they need to buy. And you can start by recommending the chlorines and the pH tests, and eventually you can replace them as your business scales with your own products, with white label products. And this really is the ultimate big picture view of how to build automated income that will give you true financial freedom. You can go create or outsource enough content that answers the questions people are searching for. Once you start to get the traffic coming in from Google because you have the most useful and valuable pieces of content for hundreds of different keywords with hundreds of posts, your website is going to be generating automated traffic. From here, you simply need to help these people get what they want. And sometimes it's an Amazon link that's an affiliate link right there in that one specific post. And other times it's giving them a free course, a free template on the email list, and then you build the relationship and eventually you send them a link to the courses, to the products, to the recommendations you have via email and voila, 
That is how the automation works for generating automated income online. I hope this has been helpful. And if you take away one thing from this, let's say two things from this, it's that you can create enough automated income to cover your lifestyle expenses. You can achieve true financial freedom. That's what it is to me. When the automated income is greater than your expenses, you are free. And how do you do it? You can get there if you help enough other people get what they want. That's the key to building automated income online. Remember, it's all about your audience. And it's all about helping them get what they want. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you very much. If you want to connect, please find me on Twitter. I'm Miles Beckler on Twitter. I'd love to hear what you think about this. Uh, my website is milesbeckler.com. If you go to YouTube, just search Miles Beckler. I'm the only Miles Beckler in the world. So I'm very easy to find and know you have the free resources and the free trainings you need. The only component that's missing is your willingness to put in the time and the energy to create hundreds of pieces of useful content that help other people get what they want. And when you do that correctly, you'll be amazed at the lifestyle you can create for yourself. I thank you very much from the bottom of my heart for your time today. I look forward to connecting with you in the Q&A section or catch me on Twitter and I will see you again soon. Thanks.